Now, that's June. We first reported to you that pre crime, minority report style, might soon become a reality where the feds can find a criminal before they strike. Positive for Howard Marks. Mr. Marks, my mandate of the District of Columbia Pre Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dugan. It will take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours and 4 minutes. Dugan ran us in. All right, that was obviously the Tom Cruise version, but the real life program that's being developed is called Future Attribute Screening Technology, or FAST. So in June, we found out the Department of Homeland Security had been conducting tests for several months at an undisclosed location in the Northeast United States. Now we might have a little bit more information as to how it works and who they plan to use it on. An internal DHS document has been obtained under open government laws by the Electronic Privacy Information Center, and CNET has been able to take a look. So let's find out what's in it. Joining me to discuss this is Declan McCullough, CNET Chief Political Correspondent. Declan, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. And uh, so if you can give us some details here as to what more we learned about FAST that was specifically in this memo. Uh, right. Uh, what happened is uh, that the Electronic Privacy Information Center obtained this document from FOIA, the um, right in open government law. And uh, um, it's dated last year, and so it's not current. Um, but it's still more information than we had before. And it says uh, that FAST is being tested on members of the public. Uh, it also says that, that FAST is collecting personally identifiable information. And these are two data points we didn't have before, so especially the first one. I mean, what members of the public, um, under what circumstances is being tested on? Is it, uh, are, are they being told what's going on? Do they have a choice to opt out? And we uh, gave the Department of Homeland Security a few days uh, to respond, and they didn't. But after our article appeared, I think they got enough uh, pressure, perhaps, or uh, that they did come up with a statement uh, that says it's only being tested on volunteers. Uh, the question is who's volunteering? Uh, we asked them some follow-ups. They, ha they haven't responded. And so I, I think it's fair to say that uh, this document that Epic obtained under FOIA really raises more questions than it answers. Now, so before we reported uh, to, you know, the, according to there was an interview nature.com that something was being carried out in the Northeast United States, do we think that that's the same thing or is that separate? It's probably the same thing. It looks like this is going through a few phases of testing. Uh, they uh, specify, I think, four or five rounds, uh, if memory serves, in this and other documents uh, that have been pried loose from the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, and so each, each of the tests, tests, as you can probably imagine, gets larger, more people are involved. Um, uh, they, they indicated it might be at a convention center um, in Boston. I've also heard uh, from a separate source it might be in Las Vegas. Uh, there's I mean, one, one reason uh, why, and this is your question goes to it, one reason why this is controversial is just because we don't know what's going on. Um, it would be one thing if they were very straightforward and uh, treating this like a sort of a science uh, experiment, uh, publishing here are the criteria, here's, the, here's how it, well it works. Instead, DHS is treating this like a national security state secret. And so they're uh, being very tight-lipped about it, so all we can do is speculate. Everything's a national security secret these days. Uh, it's just so easy for them to say that, huh? Well, so tell us again how exactly it works. How is this technology going to monitor whether or not uh, I might commit a crime right now? It starts with, with your heartbeat, right? Uh, how, fa how many times right. you're blinking? What else? Oh, well, uh, the version of Minority Report that Philip K. Dick wrote was, of course, um, uh, based um, on uh, these psychics that, was, that would uh, engage in some sort of precognition. Uh, DHS's version is much more, we're going to rely on algorithms instead. Uh, and so uh, it looks at things like uh, movements, uh, it looks at like body movements, uh, voice pitch changes, uh, the, the changes in the pattern of talking. Maybe I'm talking really fast, and then maybe I slow down. Uh, it looks at things uh, like eye movements, uh, body heat, pretty much anything that you can measure a human body doing, uh, it's using to try to figure out whether you're going to commit a crime or not. Um, and so there, there's some hints in some of these FOIA documents uh, uh, that they uh, sign up um, uh, people uh, to participate in an experiment without saying w what it is. Uh, this is DHS signing people up or its contractor. And then uh, s saying, well, half of you are going to be trying to smuggle maybe cameras into the stadium and half won't. And then uh, the, the goal of the system is to try to figure out which, which half is which. Uh, but these are just uh, hints of what, what they're doing. We just don't know. 
I feel like there's got to be something better out there. I mean, you know, I don't know about you, but I find it a little bit disturbing because uh, there's also been talk from the Department of Homeland Security that they might use something like this in airports. You know, I mean, what are the chances that your probably your heart rate is going to go up if you're stressing out because you think you're going to miss your flight as you're going through security and you're taking everything out of your pockets and then you're getting felt up by the TSA? Uh, you know, <laughs> can't they find something else? Uh, you're right that uh, a lot of the literature we're seeing um, publicly uh, talks about using it at airports, uh, which have their own problems because of, I mean, if it's your heart rate goes up and you're already stressed out about going through airport uh, screening, then all of a sudden you know everyone's guilty of a crime because everyone's heart rate goes up. Uh, there's, um, but there's also a DHS document uh, also obtained through the Freedom of Information Act uh, that talks about. Let me find the quote. Uh, using FASTA, quote, security checkpoints such as border crossings or at large public events such as sporting events or conventions. Now, that's just, that's not what TSA does. TSA is transportation security agency um, or administration. Uh, and so conventions, large sporting events, I mean, now it's going to be concerts, maybe it could be banks, maybe it could be your employer. And so uh, th this is, though, uh, I, I think publicly they're saying, yeah, we'll use this at airports. Uh, but uh, privately, these documents suggest that they're being very ambitious in terms of their uh, future plans for this. Well, it definitely uh, sounds sketchy if you ask me, and I'm sure that if they had it right now for protest, they would be using the same thing too. Well, Declan, if you guys do get your hands on any more information, do let us know. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Certainly.